Have you ever accidentally deleted a file and wished you could get it back? Or worse, have you lost everything on your computer because your hard drive failed? Hi, I'm Prashan Nagarati, an engineer on the Windows team. For the next five minutes, I'm going to show you how Windows 7 makes it easier to back up your files. I'm also going to show you how to restore files from a backup in case the unexpected ever happens. I'm going to use my external hard drive to save my backup. If you don't have an external hard drive, you can also use CDs or DVDs. To get started, I'll plug the hard drive into my computer. Windows automatically recognizes it as a possible place to save my backups. I'll click Use this drive for backup. I'm going to keep the default setting, so Windows will choose what gets backed up. The backup includes files in common locations, such as the desktop and libraries, that automatically include your pictures, documents, music, and videos. The default setting also makes a system image, which is basically a snapshot of the drive that Windows is installed on. It contains Windows, plus your programs, files, and settings. If your computer or hard drive ever fails, you can use this image to quickly restore everything to a replacement computer or hard drive. Now that I know what I'm backing up, I'll click Next. Here, I can review my backup settings. Notice that my backups will be made weekly. I can change the schedule if I want to. I'll click Save Settings and Run Backup. Once I've set up automatic backups, Windows does the rest. It keeps track of changes based on a schedule I set. I don't need to remember to create backups. And I don't need to worry. If my computer or hard drive isn't plugged in, Windows will skip the backup and catch up next time. Backup and Restore in Control Panel is where you can see the status of your backups and make changes to your backup settings. Now that I've set up the basic backup settings, I want to customize my backup. In Backup and Restore, I'll click Change Settings. I still want to save my backup on my external hard drive, so I won't change anything on this page. I'll just click Next. I want to customize what's in my backup, so I'll click Let Me Choose, and then click Next. I can back up individual libraries, folders, and drives, or select certain items to be excluded from my backup. My friend Jean doesn't want me to back up her music, so I'm going to clear the Music Library checkbox under Jean's Libraries. I'll click Next, review my backup settings, and then save my settings. Okay, now that I've set up automatic backups, what do I do if something happens to one of my files and I need to restore it from my backup? In Backup and Restore in Control Panel, I'll click Restore My Files. I happen to remember where my file was saved, so I'll click Browse for Files. I could also use Search. This page is showing me the file structure of my backup. I can click through the folders until I find the file I'm looking for. Here it is. I'll click it and then click Add Files. The file appears on a temporary collection page. It's like a shopping cart. You first collect all the items that you want to restore. Once you've collected all the files, you can then restore them. I'm ready to restore my files, so I'll click Next. Here, I need to decide if I want to restore my files to the location they were in when I made my backup, or if I want to specify a new location. I'm going to put my files in a folder I created previously and move them later. I'll click in the following location and then click Browse. I'll find the folder, select it, and then click Restore. And now my files are back on my computer. Backing up your files is important. Windows Backup helps make it easier to protect the files on your PC. By setting up automatic backups, you can spend your time using and enjoying Windows 7.